This, this is Mark and Mercedes in the morning. We were talking uh, just a few minutes ago about scary movies and, and this flip that's out right now called Paranormal Activity. And you had mentioned that you were trying to watch a movie last night or you were about to watch a scary movie. What was the flick and what happened? Why did you not get to, to see it last night? The movie is The Strangers. And um, I've wanted to see this ever since it was out in theaters. But I, I remember the night we were going to go see it. I was talking to a girlfriend of mine. She's like, no, don't go see it. Because she knows how I am with scary movies. I get really freaked out. And so she... Who's in this movie? Liv Tyler's in it. And um, I forget the guy. Do you know the guy in Did it? I see it? I think I saw it. Did you see it? I, you know, I saw it a year ago and I forget. But I just remember the Liv Tyler's character in it. I, One to ten, though. It's, it's totally scary. It's, it's a very scary movie. I, we watched it. My wife and I were staying in a hotel for our anniversary. And just you know, like a hotel is like a safe place, and just there's one door to get in. And I was uh, I was freaked out after watching. It. I'm like, hey, let's keep the lights on for a while, honey. Double check that door, make sure it's locked. It's pretty intense. And that's how I am with uh, scary movies that could happen in real life. That's why, like this paranormal activity, I would probably freak out because it's something that could actually happen. And so uh, she told me about it. I put it off after that. I'm like, it's that scary. I I, I can't watch it. Um, it came out on DVD. Matt bought it. He wa- he he was my screener. He watched it. He's like, "Oh no, you can't watch it. It's too scary." And so that kind of intrigues me when t- someone tells me I can't do anything. I'm like, yes, I can. So last night, I'm like, it's that time of year, Halloween's right around the corner. I want to watch a scary movie. Let's watch The Strangers. And he's like, "All right, if you if you think you can handle it, it's really scary." And I'm like, "No, I can do it." I'm like, "Let me just get some stuff ready and then we'll sit down and watch it." So that was like mm, eight o'clock. Kids are asleep. So I go to every door in our house, make sure it's locked, go to every single window, make sure they're all locked, um, went out, looked outside, just made sure everything was okay. By the time I was, all, I was done with all of that, it was like 9.45, and I just finally sat down. Like, like an hour and a half of preparation for the flick. I go, I'm ready. He goes, the news is on in 15 minutes. I'm not watching this movie with you. You have to wake up too early. But that is my scary movie ritual. I don't know if anyone else does something like that. But it's like certain things you or certain things you do because of a scary movie and also certain things you don't do because of a scary movie. And when I watch a scary movie, I will not walk around beds after the fact because I'm afraid someone will come out and grab my foot. And so... I won't do that after a scary movie. I was prepared. Like, once I got in bed, that was it. I was only staying there for the rest of the night because I was not going to walk around that bed. Are you freaked out, that freaked out by movies? And, and what is your little ritual? Do you do anything similar? one 336 9866 I would have guessed, like, the exact... Like, if you're going to sit down and watch a horror movie at night, the way you are with scary movies, I, I sort of envision, like, all the lights. If you have any dimmers in the house, everything up on full... Like, get as much light as you can going on. Yeah. So it sort of feels like daytime or whatever. I'm the exact opposite. I mean, if I'm going to, you know, settle in and take in a scary flick, I want the lights out. I want the mood to be set. It's, you know, nighttime. I want the room dark. Are you kind of that way? I just wanted to, I kind of wanted to set the mood, but I just wanted to make sure that I was safe. And and so. Th- th- like, if you're going to be attacked, like the attacker in your house is going to wait until, like, it, until the scary movie starts and. And until the the most appropriate part to make his move inside your house, yes, exactly. Like he's he's going to be hiding in the closet and waiting for that exact moment to jump out and freak you right out. If movies have that impact on me, and I, I I get I won't do certain things anymore just because of scary movies. And it all started when I first saw Jaws. Like after I saw Jaws, I was too afraid to scare, to to go into the ocean. You know, I, it's when it's when you're a kid when this stuff starts. Yeah, because yeah. it, it totally freaks you out. You don't have to deal with it. Is a scary movie ever? kept you from doing something like you won't do it anymore after i saw this in a movie i'm not gonna do it because it scared me so much i'm kind of the opposite i I tend to laugh i I get more comedy value out of most horror movies i can't remember the the last horror movie that really legitimately freaked me out blair witch kind of did until the end they lost me at the end and i thought this i I don't i felt like i wasted my money going to see that movie really with the way it ended it was a decent ending yeah i just that i was like man this this sucks. I was really into it, too, during the, the actual movie. But what do you think? 888-336-9866. Movies that, that have that effect on you. Hey, Gwen, you're on. Good morning. Hi. Good morning, guys. Um, my scary ri- movie ritual is that I won't allow my feet to be out of the covers after I watch a scary movie. Someone might grab them. Yes. And also, I've been doing that since I was, like, in elementary school because I used to... I, one time when I was really young, I watched Freddy Krueger. Freaked me out. And so I 
I pretended that I had this magic blanket, and whenever I had the magic blanket on, Freddy Krueger couldn't get me. Oh, that's brilliant. Kind of like the Harry <laughs> Potter uh, invisibility cloak. Yes, exactly <laughs> like that. I think this should be the, the, the part of the topic, too. What was the movie that set the precedent for you? I mean, that set the bar. The movie that, that is responsible for all this. For her, it's Nightmare on uh, Elm Street. For you, Jaws started it off as a kid. It's not like a horror movie, but still, yeah, it freaked me out. Did you watch The Exorcist as a kid? Yes. Oh, I What did that do to you? I don't eat pea soup because of that movie. Here's Lindsay. Hey, Lindsay. Hey there. Um, Yeah, when I was like, I think I was like seven or eight years old, my brother sat me down to watch Halloween. And um, he went to the kitchen to go get something to eat. Well, instead, he went out the back door, went around to the front door, and went to the window right behind me. And whenever the scary part of the movie came, he reached in through the window and pulled me out of the house. <laughs> oh, I was yeah. terrified. Yeah. How long before you peed in your pants? Oh, it was almost instantaneous. Whoa, that! I mean, did that, did you cry for days after that? I was, I was terrified, absolutely mortified. It was horrible. Brothers are so evil. Brothers just love to torture their sisters that way. What if you had fired up the movie last night and then Matt had a little plot to kind of scare you mid-flick? Would you? Would, would it be damaging enough where you wouldn't talk for a few days because yes. you'd be that mad at him? Absolutely. Because he knows how you are with scary movies. That's my Achilles tendon. It's scary movies, and I freak out. I, it's it's so immature. I I mean, it's like I act like I'm a little kid, but they really genuinely freak me out. There was it was right. Shortly after we started together uh, doing the morning show, and it was, I don't know, this may have been like 10 years ago, but you had come in one morning, and you were talking about a movie that had freaked you out, and we weren't even in the studio. We were in the studio across the hall, and do you remember? I remember I, that. I look back at the window, because we have a, a window that, that butts up right to the studio, and at the time, Mercedes, her back was to the window. I looked above her head, and I'm like, oh, my God! <laughs> and, and it was like during a commercial break, and I acted like I was totally freaking out, and I heard the most, the scream that came from you. I felt so bad after the fact. It's like, I'm just going to, you know, razz her a little bit because she just told this story about a scary movie. You were really freaked out. I was. And, and you were mad, too. I can tell you were mad. <laughs> don't think I'm not looking at the corner of my eye every five minutes to see if JC is going to come in and scare me. I'm, well, I'm here's freaked a, out right now. The Carmen, now the studio we're in now, I've got the window to my back. So I'm just, it's just a matter of time that you get revenge. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah, Ten year plus revenge on this one. Linda, what movie uh, did it for you? Oh, it's got to be Psycho, and I have to tell you, I'm an older woman, and my girlfriend and I went to the Saturday movies, and I was babysitting my cousin, who was about eight or nine, and we took him to see Psycho. For some reason, I think they didn't have ratings then to restrict you. Well, my aunt was furious, because (laughs) to this day, the kid will not take his (laughs) power. And (laughs) JC! What the hell? So, JC, right now, hold on a second. Uh, Linda, sorry, hold on. So, JC's at the window right now. <laughs> he just totally freaked out. Will you get back on the mic, please? Did you just pass out or what? What just happened? I didn't even get to see it. What just happened? I hate him. Oh, my God. He went up. I can't even breathe. <laughs> What did you do? I'm back here screening calls. I don't know what you're talking about. (laughs) I hate you. Please explain what happened. I didn't get to see it. He went to that window, and he put his arms up on on the window. Like, I don't know, like he was being crucified. And then he put his arms, like, slowly falling down. And I just looked behind you, and I only see this man, like, pressed up against (laughs) And then the dramatics kick in. She's on the floor, and she can't give up. You can get up. Like, you've given her a heart attack. I can't breathe. I still can't catch my breath. I, I thought you saw me, Mark, when you turned around. I'm sorry. That's funny. I'm going to get you back, JC. I may not scare you, but I'm going to hit you where it hurts. And I'm just going to do it now. That plaid shirt you wore the other day with flowers was the ugliest shirt I ever saw. Oh, come on. For me, it's scary movies. For JC, it's fashion. He's on the floor right now and he can't talk. He's like, oh. he, he just passed out. Linda, I'm really sorry. You didn't get to finish your story. I'm you you, sorry, you were abruptly cut off there. Go ahead, Linda. What I was saying is my girlfriend and I, we used to do the Saturday afternoon movies, and this was in a Van Nuys, California, and I took my cousin, who was eight years old at the time, to see Psycho. You know, I had to babysit him, and why not the movies? Didn't know too much about it. Well, to this day, this poor kid, who's a man now with children, will not take a shower. His mother, my aunt, was furious with me for taking him to see Psycho in that shower scene. You know, less is more. You didn't see too much, but you sure did see a lot.
He won't take guy, showers, or he'll he, take baths, I assume. He'll take baths, but he will not take a shower, and he's like in his 50s now. <laughs> you know what I loved about your story, Linda? You're talking about Cycle. Like, you know, they didn't have ratings back then for the movie. <laughs> yeah, right. I think it had the R on it. I think, I think Psycho was carrying the R. Well, I don't know. Nobody stopped us. You know, we're much shorter than we were. Come on in. Come here, little boy. Front row seat for you. Ah! Oh, no. You're not going to get me now. Now it's, I, I have no energy left. That scream took everything out of me. You hit the floor, too. You just went down. I was paralyzed. <laughs> it totally just went down. Stick around. Mark and Mercedes in the morning is coming right back.